Hey guys, you're back live with MVI again. Um, as promised yesterday, I did go ahead and add in the uh, wireless camera, uh, rear uh, trailer wireless camera on a 2020 Silverado. Uh, so this is good on 19 and up Silverado, Sierra, Colorado, and Canyon. And as you can see, we've got the factory display here. We've, we added the front camera yesterday, which I'll show you here in a second on the uh, install. Um, when you go to reverse and back to drive in a parking situation, it will go ahead and pull up. There's the reverse. In a parking situation, when you go to drive, there's our front camera. Um, so that'll be automatic. We'll go back to park. Now on the steering wheel, we can press the hang up button and there is the wireless camera which i've just got rigged up on the bench that's why it's looking weird just toggle to the front and now back to the factory screen all done right there on the steering wheel one more time i'll show you reverse factory reverse hd camera go to drive parking situation automatic turn on this does work below eight mile per hour and then going down the road actually let's go ahead and put her in drive straight to drive going down the road toggle there's our rear wireless toggle and there's our front and this can stay on as long as you want so that's the operation pretty good little setup so let me go ahead and show you, um, there is no on-screen activation. It's all done through uh, toggle switches. So for front camera, guys, this will automatically activate in a uh, parking situation. So when it sees reverse, we're going to get the factory camera. And then back to drive, we now have the front camera on there. This will stay on above until you hit 8 mile per hour. Um, once you get out at 8 mile per hour, it'll go back to the factory screen. I'll show you that here in just a second. You can also toggle via the steering wheel. The hang up button on the steering wheel is your toggle. If you want to see, pull it up going down the road. Um, just double click. That's my rear wireless. And there's the front. And then back to home and I'm doing that simply by the hang up button on the steering wheel so again first input rear wireless second input front camera and then back to home screen now we can set that if you're only doing the front camera we can toggle it just straight to the front camera and bypass the rear rear wireless just FYI that I'll flip now I'm looking at the rear wireless so if you're pulling an RV, you need the antenna extender. Period. The end. If you want to see it while going down the road in drive, you can you can pull it up while going down the road. But you are going to need the antenna extender, just because of the physics of it. It is a wireless signal. You're traveling down the road at high speeds. You're trying to go up and over the camper. You're going to need that wireless extender. So I will get that on the site. But if you if you're doing an RV, you want to pull it up while going down the road in drive. You are going to need that extender. Same thing, um, I'm in reverse now, so there's really no reason to look at the front camera, but I can now go to drive. My factory backup camera comes back on, and we're back to the uh, home screen. So let me uh, go to reverse here real quick. Actually, I'm going to pop this out of the holder because it's gonna be easier. One second here. Again, we can shut these inputs on and off. But I'm going to go to reverse and now drive. We are looking at the front camera. Got a horrible sun glare going on. I apologize. But below 8 mile per hour, this will stay on until I hit speed. Then it'll come off. Want to do it again now if you want to pull it up. Um, on demand, I'm simply just going to hit the button on the wheel. So again, reverse, wireless, 
and there's the front and back to home screen so hopefully that clears up some questions guys um if you have specific ones shoot us a message happy to uh get them answered for you but this is the operation of our system so take care guys Just real quick, I'm going to show you guys. So as usual, you can kind of see in the back glass here, I've got the uh, receiver <clears throat> mounted, tucked up under, ran along the trim here, all the way to the front. Up here, same deal. Down the A-pillar. Two tens, as usual, guys. I just went ahead and zipped it right to the existing harnessing. Follow down, bring it down. It's all gonna hide down there on the floorboard. And then one last moment, glance at the front camera. Install, came out nice. There she is, right up under the bow tie. This does have some adjustment up and down if you want it to go down a little bit further for parking, um, but pretty good little setup. So as usual, give us a message. Uh, get with us on the website, gm-navigation.com or here. Happy to answer any questions. Take care.